Kevin MacDonald is a great filmmaker. He comes from documentaries. So what he brings on set is reality and the truth. You want to represent the head recruiter for 9-11? Alleged. Kevin's got this uncanny knack of making the historical, the actual factual, very entertaining. We are seeking the death penalty, but if we miss something, this guy goes home. He just brings a certain sense of grounding to not only the story, but also to the set. We know that you're innocent, but we have to prove that, and we can't do that unless we see the allegations against you. He really believes the way that you approach making films is you don't try to control it or shape it, that you spend your time noticing. You, you're in the space, you see the characters, and then you notice what's happening, and then you make sure that you capture that. I'm not just defending him, I'm defending the rule of law. You haven't seen what I've seen. Kevin has a tremendous passion to tell this story and tell it fairly and tell it right. Never did I believe that the United States would use fear and terror to control me. I saw the opportunity in this film to make something that is a thriller, but also a film which is about really wonderful characters who you fall in love with. You need to tell me what happened to you. I can't defend you. Do you I, understand that? You asked me to set fire to this place, but I'm still sitting in it. Mohamedou Old Slahi, the Mauritanian. You want to represent the head recruiter for 9-11? Alleged. I first became aware of this story when Mohamedou's book, Guantanamo Diaries, was published. This was the first piece of literature that actually had been written in Guantanamo prison. He has been held against his will for six years. Since when did we start locking people up without a trial in this country? It's a political thriller, it's also a legal thriller, and at the center is this luminous human being. It's a story of someone who is innocent, wrongly accused. And this extraordinarily brilliant woman who is defending him and really came to love him. And the real human beings are actually on set while we're shooting the film. I looked at Kevin and said, no matter how dramatic this is, the reality was more dramatic than this. I'm Nancy Hollander, this is my associate, and we wish to represent you. How can you defend me if you don't even know what I'm charged with? Have you been charged? No, no, no. I want people to be able to see a Guantanamo prisoner as a human being, with a family, with a sense of humor. See you later, alligators. Now you have to say, after a while, crocodile. The casting is beyond my wildest dreams. You just imagine that we were very beautiful then. <laughs> when you meet Mohamedou, you feel the essence of his spirit so strong. Mohamedou is so charming and so funny. It's right from the beginning, the casting director and I looked at each other, well, it's got to be Tahar. He shows such amazing range. You asked me to set fire to this place, but I'm still sitting in it. I mean, what can you say about Jodie? She's whip smart, funny, easy to work with. You know, the fanboy me is going, oh, I'm, I'm going to see me Jodie Foster. Just from the very first frames that you see Jodie, you know who this person is. People have called you a terrorist lawyer. When I defended someone charged with rape, nobody called me a rapist. When I defended someone charged with murder, nobody dug around my backyard. But when someone's accused of terrorism, people like you seem to think that that's different. We both walked into that set. It made me gasp that it was so much like when I would visit him. I think we really want to get it right. We want to be fair to all of the parties. Doesn't it bother you working for someone like this? I'm not just defending him, I'm defending the rule of law. If ever there was a time that we need to learn to see the humanity in the other side of arguments, it's right now. It's a story that has to be told. My captors cannot forgive me for something that I have never done. But I am trying to forgive. I want to forgive.